right, in this hour, we've got a very special guest. She goes by the name of Wamaitha Mwangi. Okay. Um, and she is the founder of Angel Center Kenya. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm well, thanks. How are you? Sit go poor. It's just Brian who's been asking us a lot of crazy questions. So before we get right into the really amazing conversation, we have to ask you a question. Yeah. Would you choose friends over money? Friends over money. Or money over friends. Situation. Situation. A million, a million dollars. <laughs> friends over money. Well, I'd say it depends. Are your friends listening? My friends are listening. Yeah, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> um, friends over money. I'd actually choose uh, friends over money. Of course you choose friends. Your friends are listening. Yeah. I said, yo, you should be like me. But, uh, you know, it depends on the situation. One million and the dollars. Friends. One million dollars. <clears throat> Again, <laughs> depends on the situation <laughs> and the friends. <laughs> there are some friends who are not friends, so definitely yes. Kwa mboks and akudanganya. Friends matter. Friends will friends will be with you. Now to make sure that upate then, pesa nyingine. Let me take the money and yeah. then I say sorry. Yes. yes, with the money. Thank you. Right? That's a smart girl right there. And the only <laughs> friends that matter is one matter because he makes what three hundred thousand dollars a month a week. Exactly. In fact, my friends will tell me, "Don't choose me. Choose the money." That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like right home. Then we leave it at when I win, we all win. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> it's okay. It's I okay. didn't really look at it like that, but I. Yeah, when we win, when I win, we all win. Yeah, that's what they say before they move to Rwanda. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm-h
All right. Uh, remember, in studio, we are discussing, uh, we've got a guest. She's known as Wamaitha Mwangi. She is the founder of Angel Center. And we're talking about, you know, her journey. How do you, how did you wake up one day, Wamaitha, and decide, you know what, I'm just going to, I'm just going to take care of abandoned kids? Well, I just didn't wake up one day. It's mm-hmm. something, um, I usually tell people it sounds cheesy, but it's something I knew since I was 11, 12. Mm-hmm. Like, uh, my mom used to uh, volunteer at Red Cross, mm-hmm. and my dad used to do a lot of charity work. Mm-hmm. And then our holidays, August holiday, April holidays used to be, you go to this home, you go to this home. My mm-hmm. mom used to make us give clothes by force. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, you know, just doing all of that, uh, you know, at the time we used to hate it because, you know, we are preteens, yeah. we are teenagers, yeah. we mm-hmm. just want to be with friends. But then something struck, yeah. you know, and I was like, you know, there are people who actually do need help. And we were lucky enough, you know, mm-hmm. we didn't come from, you know, a lot of wealth. Yeah. But we were lucky enough to have a home, mm-hmm. to have clothes, you know, you can change clothes, yeah. to have food mm-hmm. every day. These yeah. are just things that people do Take not understand. Right. They, are, they are people who are having it rough. Mm. So for me, it's something I knew. I'd, I'd never seen myself in an office. Mm-hmm. Um, I just knew I was going to do something with children. Yeah. So I studied, I went abroad and I studied there. When I finished, I said, I'm going to... What did you study? Uh, psychology. Okay. Yeah. So when I finished, I came back and... I just tried because you know when you come back and you tell your friends these friends we are talking about are mm. you going to choose money over friends mm. you tell these friends you know I want to start a home and guys are like hey, hey. madam mm-hmm. yeah. first you know they always start with why you cannot do it yeah yeah, yeah but my personality I have a very strong personality mm. before you can talk me out of something mm, yeah. you'd really have to you know so I was, I was like you know I'm going to do it yeah. if it fails it fails mm-hmm. so that you know I'm not going to have regrets yeah. Yeah. I'm going to say I tried it it failed mm-hmm. but I was scared and I was why were you scared I was 27 years old. Mm-hmm. All my friends, you know, most of them have, you know, most of them have jobs. Mm-hmm. One of my friends just got a promotion. She was a manager at a bank. Yeah. Another one bought a Bima. Mm-hmm. I'm just like, guy, what are you doing? What do I have? Yeah. But all I was doing was clubbing. Mm-hmm. You know? <laughs> <laughs> like taking a club and hitting something with it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Club. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's what I was doing. Uh, so, yeah. So, um, you know, I just said, you know, let me, let me give it a shot. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. And, you know, God has been, was so good mm-hmm. by, you know, I was, tw- as I said, I was 27. 27. I was scared. Were you dating at the time? I had just come out of a very bad relationship. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Like uh, that one, me and relation. don't ask me about relationships. Yeah. Yeah. Let's stick to my strength. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Let us stick to my strength. Okay. Now, the reason I'm asking that is yeah. I can imagine, like, bro, you can imagine mm-hmm. you're dating someone. Yes. You're 27. Mm-hmm. And then they tell you, you know what? I'm actually going to be the mother of lots of kids. Yeah. No, that happened when, when after I had started Angel Center yeah. and I just started dating this guy mm-hmm. and I told him about it and his exact answer was bye i don't think you're gonna take care of our kids mm-hmm. if we have kids what yeah like he he was like i i don't think like he wants me to be full-time mm. our kids you have to prioritize <laughs> i was like next wow yeah because they have, and a lot of pe- not a lot of men would probably understand mm. what i'm doing mm. and it's i don't know mm. yeah that's, that's I, crazy that's why i said let's stick to my strength Bryo, help us understand <laughs> why yeah. what's, what's but then i've just remembered about? guys are the same ones who you know, mm-hmm. hate this responsibility. <laughs> so, so you're 27. You've come out of a relationship. Mm-hmm. Your friends' lives are moving. Yeah, uh, according to what's supposed to be moving. Ex- yeah. And uh, s- but then you're like you've stuck with this thing that's been inside of you since you were like 11. Exactly. And so, where did you start from? I started. I came with some savings. Mm-hmm. So I started in a one-bedroom house in Limuru. Mm-hmm. I bought. Uh, three baby cots. I shone uh, a three baby cots. Mm-hmm. I bought mattresses. Mm-hmm. Uh, my dad gave me a fridge. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, I went to toy market. I bought clothes. Mm-hmm. Like I set up the place because when you're registering, you have to have a venue. Mm-hmm. So I had like this room is massive. Mm. Like I had a very small room. Mm-hmm. And then I stayed for a month without, you know, I, everything was approved and everything. Mm-hmm. Then one Thursday, I remember it, uh, July 15, 2010. Mm-hmm. I even have it tattooed. Yeah. Uh, Thursdays used to be bend over Thursdays. <laughs> when we used to go Shout and out to Team 100. Bass. <laughs> yeah. So I was supposed to actually go out yeah. uh, with my friends. Mm-hmm. And then I got a call from the children's officer in Limuru mm-hmm. and she told me, 
we have a baby um do you have can you take the child and yes. i was like yes mm-hmm. so i rushed had I, you I, ever taken care of a child at this point Yes, in Australia, uh, mm-hmm. one of my friends had a baby while we were in university, mm-hmm. so we used to take turns, and I used to take care of the of the boy. Okay, so that was like my first full on experience mm-hmm. with a baby. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I didn't know anything, um, but we managed. Mm-hmm. So anyway, um, fast forward, yeah. So I call my friends, and I'm like, "Yo, I can't um, come for the, you know, I can't go out. I've been mm-hmm. called for a baby, and they're like, congratulations, mm-hmm. and blah blah blah.' So I go. This is a one year old Joro. Yeah. A one year old looks at me and is like, hell, hell. no. Oh my God. He's scared. Mm-hmm. And so I take him and, you know, we go to the house and, you know, in my head, there's, you know, a system of how we are going to do things. Yeah. Can I tell you, this boy did not want me to touch him. Mm-hmm. He did not want to eat. Mm-hmm. He don't want to do. He cried the whole the time. whole night. Oh my God. So at some point, and you know, mm-hmm. my friends are, t- are calling me and they're like, oh, we are taking shots for you. Congratulations. And I'm just there like, <laughs> what did I do? Are you alone at this point? I was alone. Wow. Yes. I did uh, the, sh- the night shift mm-hmm. at Angel Center for probably six months by myself. And Whoa. then during the day, one of my neighbor who used to volunteer used to do the day shift. Wow. So I'm here looking at this child and I'm like, what did I do? Did I like, this is a human life. Yeah. Like I started getting scared and mm. I'm like, is this the right decision? Maybe I should, you know, maybe people were right. Maybe I can't do this. All right. We're going to come back. I want okay. you to hold that thought. This is one. She's got the baby now. She's sitting there asking herself, am I doing the right thing or should I be at Team Bendova on a Thursday night? 27 years already set up a uh, um, children's home. What next? Do not touch that dial. Remember, you are on Vibes Radio. 98.7 FM, Mombasa, on Vibes Radio. Bye. Let's give you conscious and I'm a little bit wash. Oh, that God loves me. Washroom. Huh? He says washroom. He says go washroom. Washroom. Mm. It's a washroom, like a pr- production. Oh, no. Yes, yeah. 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 so it's a good job. It's a good job. It's a good job. His station is yet to get to your conscience. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Yeah. And back all your conscience because right. we're about to tell you about Chris Martin wow. here. Wow. So, <laughs> Chris Martin is coming to Kenya and will be performing on 7th of December 2019. Yeah, man. To party, party, party. You can get your tickets on mtickets.com at 1500 Bob regular advanced tickets and advanced tickets are VIP owners as part of 5K Apple mtickets.com don't worry it's a kwa party moto 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 and you'll get a chance to hang out now the vibes crew we what's that to eat a kwa party moto mrs kwambo kusuna goja go bagani ya chris martin mimi ile ngo manye na ngoja ni ile nye haja pika bado ehe no arms kwanza no is it 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 is yeah. Eh, Chris <laughs> Martinia. <laughs> Chris Martinia. Apple do yeah, mean I'm going to go Apple. Ma- uh huh. Yeah. Iso. Maybe right when I go, my inaito ex girl. That's mm. my best song. So my oh, ex girl's yeah. trying to murder me. Yeah. Ex-girl. Is it ex trying to murder you? Yeah. Is there uh, anything I should know? No comment. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, we have 29 minutes to 9 a.m. And we're hanging out with Wam Mwangi. Uh, from, she's the founder of Angel Center. Now, Angel Center is a children's home. Is that, is that the is that the one? Children yeah, home. Angel Center for Abandoned Children. For Abandoned yes. Children. So she was you were before we took the break. You ha- this is this is ten years ago. No, nine years nine ago. nine years ago. Yes, you've gotten your first child mm. after sitting preparing the house, nini nini, ensuring you've gotten your licenses. Now you're sitting for waiting for the council to hook you up with one child, mm-hmm. and then boom, mm-hmm. then Thursday night you're supposed to be out with friends. Yes, twenty seven year old one has met this. How old was he? One year. One year old yeah. boy called Joro. Joro Gay, yes. All right. How did that go? It was horrible. How <laughs> Fiji? Um, <laughs> 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 yeah. I was scared. I was crying because I was like, you know, um, this is a child that I've, you know, I've taken in, you know, it's his life. So now I'm his sole, you know. Provider. His, provider. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Wow. I know. I'm his song. sole provider. Yeah. So that kind of scared me. And then, you know, he wouldn't let me touch him. He wouldn't let me feed him. And this is like 2 a.m. Mm-hmm. We've, I got him at about 6, 7 p.m. Mm-hmm. This is 2 a.m. The and boy is, he's, he's, hasn't eaten nothing. Hasn't ca- so for me, I'm like, okay, you're abusing this child. Just oh. call the children officer and give the child back, you know, mm-hmm. and, you know, just finish this story. Yeah. Yeah. But then, so I prayed and I was like, hey, God, you know, you're the one who put this in my heart. Mm. Do something. Yeah. Me, let me tell you, 
I don't know what happened. Yeah. Akalala. Mm-hmm. When he woke up, um, you know, I had milk because I didn't sleep. Yeah. Like that night, I was jichonyanya. I was like this. Yeah. When he woke up, um, I offered him some food. Mm-hmm. He ate. Wow. I hugged him. Like, I, I didn't even, I hadn't even changed him. Yeah. So he was smelling of poop and everything. So I changed him. He was okay. Yeah. Do you know he was very calm? Mm-hmm. He was, it was so beautiful. And yeah. I was, uh, now that's when I started crying. Because I was like, oh my God, oh my God, I did it, I yeah, did it, I did it. So yeah. in the morning, my, the other lady came. Yeah. So, you know, that's how we went. And, you know, I, it, it really encouraged me. Um, four days later, I got three newborns. What? Like, I got a one-day-old, uh, no, two one-day-olds mm-hmm. and I think a four-day-old. At this point, you're not like, maybe I've taken more than I could chew. Uh, yes, because now they start they start crying in unison. Mm. Yeah. So I'm, like I'm by myself. Mm. So we I just ha- we were just two people. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And um, uh, I was doing the night shift. Mm-hmm. And then my neighbor who was volunteering mm-hmm. was doing the, 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 day, the day shift. shift. So at night, I'm just like, what is going on? Mm-hmm. But somehow, let me tell you, somehow the mind, the brain adjusts. Yeah. Somehow uh, we did it. Yeah. We did it somehow. And, so so um, let, just to draw a picture for the listeners. Yeah. So at this point, your neighbor comes in. Mm-hmm. You have four kids in the house. One is one year, yes. and then you have three who are under the age, under one, newborns. newborns. Yeah, and she takes care of them during the day. Yes, and then you come in. Yes, and you take care of these quadruplets. Yes, at, at night. night. Yes, and okay. the one year old would sleep well, mm-hmm. but then the quadruplets. Yeah, there was no sleeping at night at all. Yeah, so so what I used to do, mm-hmm. I'll be like, you know, I, I got them into a system. Yeah. This hour is 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 Martin. Mm-hmm. This hour is Nathan. Mm-hmm. The next hour it's David. Mm-hmm. Those were the first three boys. I Did had. you ever find yourself? Uh, I'm sure this is a question that I was <laughs> going to ask. Do you ever find yourself going like? Because you know, let me tell you, my parents have four kids. Yes, but somehow my mom will call all her sisters, mm. and then call all my cousins, mm. and then call all the names that she knows in her directory before she says before she says your name. Yeah, you no, that's she, that's me now. Yeah, that's me now. I have 48 <laughs> kids, and there is one who's screaming. I'm looking at him. I know his name and I'm like, wait, 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 yeah, it's, it's, yeah, my dad used to do that as well, but so, yeah. H- how do they address you at the moment? Mom, wam. Mom, wam. Mom, wam, yeah. Oh. So they, we, they call all the moms, all the nannies moms. Yeah. Because I don't want them to call nannies because mm-hmm. it's kind of, uh, you know, so yeah. I just want, because we are their moms. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We are their primary caregivers. Yeah. So, um, yeah, they call me mom, wam. So, wam, at this point, you have four kids in your house. It's mm-hmm. exciting. It was challenging, but it's exciting. Yes. Your dream is starting to, to come into fruition. Yes. Where are you getting the money for this? There was, uh, we finished the money. I, I finished my money. Mm-hmm. And then now I started getting food from our house. Mm-hmm. So it Your got house to a point, being? My parents' house. Oh, wow. So it got to a point, my dad used to shop for the house mm-hmm. and for Angel Center, for wow. the kids. Yeah. And then he told me one thing that kind of snapped me out of everything. Mm-hmm. He's like, well, I'm, you know, I'm happy. I'm happy to help. Mm-hmm. But you need to know this is your dream. Mm-hmm. These are your children. You're mm-hmm. going to have to know how, how to you're going to provide for them. Mm-hmm. So I started, you know, ha- you know, I have a lot of influential friends. Mm-hmm. You know, I have a lot of loaded friends. Mm-hmm. Let me tell you, friends. <laughs> I told you to <laughs> pick money. money. I told you to pick money. <laughs> pick that, this year I said I'll pick money. Yeah. yeah. Let me tell you, friends. Me, I thought, because I thought I got it. Yes. And I thought, you know, you know, let me tell my friends about, you know. Your dreams. Nothing. Mm-hmm. Nothing. There are those ones that came through. Mm-hmm. I had friends that she killed me, Sana, mm-hmm. Sana, and those ones I even see them online. Mm-hmm. Bio, yes. Brenda, you know, mm-hmm. those guys. She killed me. My family. She killed me. But then we used to go and ask people for help, and people are like, okay, 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 nothing. Mm. But um, you know, it was just a learning. It was yeah. it was hard. Mm-hmm. Let me tell you, it's not easy. What is what would you say? Because I know there are people who are listening in right now who are probably on day one. Yeah, just As in the day in Joro landed. Yeah, yeah, on that day. Yeah, and they they're probably in that space like, I um toto um toto nika mevunjika. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. I thought it would be easy. Yeah. Let me tell you, it's not. Mm-hmm. It's not, and it's hard, and especially getting funding is hard. Yeah. Like we are nine years old, and mm-hmm. we still don't have proper funding. Like mm-hmm. I'm, I usually tell people, I'm a professional beggar, because mm-hmm. I'm like every month, le- listen, I need unga, I mm-hmm. need this, this, yeah. this, and then since Angel Center is very loud on social media, mm-hmm. people are assume that you we are money. heavily funded yeah. but we are not mm-hmm. and you see that's why even like we do radio mm-hmm. and everything goes and then now is when people are knowing about angel mm-hmm. you've known about angel Sensor since 2010 yeah. because we are friends mm-hmm. but people are now yeah. right now mm-hmm. getting to know about angel center yeah. which is crazy to me because mm-hmm. 
I've made so much noise. I've done TV. Yeah. But anyway, it's not even about that. Mm. Um, everything works in its own time. So whoever is starting right now, yeah. be patient. Well, my brother, would you say that Kenyans care for abandoned children? Oh, yes. Do we? Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you. But Kenyans are scared. Mm -hmm. Kenyans are scared from other children's homes. Mm -hmm. You know, you give your hard-earned money mm -hmm. to a home, yeah. and then I land at Vibes Radio with a helicopter. Mm -hmm. And then I'm telling you guys, I've come with my helicopter, and I'm telling you guys, by the way, my kids need blankets. What? Yeah. High school are the <laughs> truth. Man. Kenyans are scared. But let me tell you, Kenyans want to help like kenyans love to help like you i i, I remember there was a uni student mm -hmm. when we started mm -hmm. she's in university mm -hmm. she used to give us 500 shillings from her pocket money mm -hmm. you know how crazy yeah. that yeah. is for yes. a university yeah. student yeah. so much that she's that was crazy herself. to me mm -hmm. that was crazy to me but you see and then there are other people who even they don't have anything but then they volunteer their time mm -hmm. kenyans want to help it's just that there's that trust issue we have been scared, mm -hmm. like we have been scared so much. Yeah. Let's talk adoption. Mm -hmm. um, I remember yeah. there was a time uh, in Kenya, I think the, the laws on adoption are very scanty, yeah. uh, sketchy. Uh, I think if you get into the system is when you start to realize, okay, this is what I can and can't do. Mm -hmm. I know that there's a lot of people who'd be interested in adoption. Yeah. But what's the process like? Because you on the uh, First, on the I'm going to tell you, there's mm -hmm. nothing sketchy about it. It's mm -hmm. pretty straightforward. Mm -hmm. um, adoption takes six to eight months. Mm -hmm. um, again, Kenyans are scared. Yeah. It used to be a taboo to adopt. Mm -hmm. So now that people are opening up their minds to that, mm -hmm. you know, because, you know, it, Zamani, it used to be a taboo and people are like, eh, to adopt, you know. Oh, See, it was only Wazungus coming to shop for kids. Or some, eh, hey, you know, things yeah. like that. But they're, they're actually Kenyans who used to adopt. But yeah. then you see, because it was such as, you know, you, you didn't want to be told, men am total. Yeah. It used to, so everyone thought there was a lot of red tape. It's pretty straightforward. But, if but you why, want to, mm -hmm. but why does it take all this time, six to eight months? Uh, so good things, everything you. good takes time. Yeah. Like in Gary, everything good Gary takes time. Three months listen, and listen, you're not buying a car. <laughs> yes. You're not buying shoes. Yes. yes. What, 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 okay, what leads you're to You're taking in a time? child into your home. Mm -hmm. So they have to vet you. Okay. They have to vet your environment. They have mm -hmm. to vet your workmates. Mm -hmm. They have to check health. They, mm -hmm. And they're not checking health at you because let's say, for example, if you're positive, you mm -hmm. cannot adopt. You mm -hmm. can. Yeah, okay. But they're just checking, mm -hmm. you know, for the records. Yes. It takes time mm -hmm. because you have to go to court. All right. There has to be, yeah. We're going to come back. Okay. Um, this is a very interesting conversation. Mm -hmm. Any questions you've got for Wamaiva, remember to call us up 0719012700. And then if you want to be part of taking care of the kids at Angel Center, mm -hmm. we'll come back to tell you how. In the meantime. Vibes Radio, we rule the nation in this generation. Wamana tuambia, let me go. Nilikuambia, usikuja hapa kwa ujapiga mswaki. Pole, pole, pole. <laughs> 16 minutes to 9 a.m. Brayu na jokuna parts of the country. Ukisema wageni wa mekuja. Mm -hmm. Inamanisha. Enda ufungwe. Weka chai kwa meza. Mm -hmm. Alafu kuna parts zingine. Ukisema wageni wa mekuja. Na wakambia. Faya shika andi bobendo nime parts. <laughs> na wengine ni. Wageni wa mekuja. Ficha chakula. Kusabwa ita atosha. Na tulikuwa tumepika lese chapo. Shout out. Itabitu wapigia ugali. Shout out to all Brayu's relatives. <laughs> I know. I'm a waibisha. <laughs> Waluya kwanza mkisikia brayo enu wapa kisema 645. Watu wanajua unasema nge hivyo kwa rinu? Right now it's 845. Yes, we're 15 minutes away to the top of the hour. 15. It's so crazy that we we don't appreciate our own accents. Eh? Yo, I went to the states uh -huh. to get. I I went to the states recently, mm -hmm. and uh, like I met a lot of a bunch of girls <coughs> who had come to volunteer. Yeah. Shout out travel and give. Yeah. Shout out spread karma. Yeah. And all of them were like, yo, your accent. And I'm like, I don't have an accent. Mm. You guys, and all of them, they're like, wow. The accent is fine. You and you have a very strong accent. And yeah. they liked it. I was yeah. like, oh, okay. You know, we always look at other people's accents. accents yeah. Yeah. Actually, yeah, they like our accent. Do you though. know where that comes from? We spend mm. a lot of time watching foreign TV. Mm. True. So, growing True. up, the first, when you're in, we'll go on, uh, we'll go on, we'll go on, say, hippopotamus. I love it. When I watch CSI, we'll say, the hippopotamus, <laughs> the hippopotamus. <laughs> I love you. And it's a he promises. Hey, imagine. But you don't understand. The same space you see an Italian or a French person or a Spanish person speak or a Chinese person. Yes. Butchering the English language. Exactly. And you're still saying, oh, this French accent is so romantic. Watch an Ikonesha Gusi accent the way it can be very romantic. <laughs> yeah, so we are being told, I was being told, Wam, you have a very strong accent. Mm. I'm like, I've never thought we have mm. a strong accent yeah, until that. I met the, all the ladies from the States. Maybe it's your tongue ring. 
sasa wewe hizo ni gani hizo ni gani ule mwana chomanga cheza chini mimi mimi nakuanga na open pol- open policy wangu. na mvp wangu all right so um in case you just tuned in we are hanging out with Wamaida Mwangi um she is a C, uh, founder of Angel Center which is a, ch- a home for abandoned children and uh, before we took the break you said that Kenyans actually want to take part in the lives of abandoned children yeah but they're scared yeah so you've been doing this for what Nine years now yes going to 10 yes do you ever see yourself yourself slowing down what's what's the next step well i don't think there's a next step because mm-hmm. these are ch- we are raising yeah. children yeah. you know it's not that after 10 years mm-hmm. they stop growing mm-hmm. you know and it's going to be continuous there's mm-hmm. going to be more abandoned children yeah. so um you know god help me mm-hmm. um give me strength mm-hmm. uh get us support mm-hmm. i'll do it as long as i can where are you located now we're in waidaka behind agriti high school mm-hmm. yeah what would you say is uh like when you're raising the kids what's that one thing that you need every day for me or for yeah, the kids for the kids um there's a lot of things yeah. like there's not one thing you need for the kids um the first thing i'll tell people is come and volunteer these children need company mm-hmm. come and volunteer come and play with them i remember there's a time you were doing a dad's yeah i'm going to do it again yeah. in december yeah. like a daddy a uh, baby daddy mm-hmm. i called it baby daddy to be controversial you so know how us. i do yeah so baby daddy is um m- most of my children are boys yeah. mm-hmm. and boys are more abandoned why is that then girls and then girls are adopted faster than boys it's just a culture thing and um, i usually tell all the men who come to angel center the boy child is in trouble mm. as guys the girls you know we are spoken for mm. but then the boy child is in trouble mm. um so the reason i started the baby daddy program is to get men to you know come and help these children these mm. boys i had to help a boy pee standing what do i know about peeing standing yeah. you know like yeah. it's other things you know even talking about you know changes because yeah. we are, that's where we are i have a preteen he's mm-hmm. 10 So he's going to be, you know, get experiencing changes yeah, soon. Yeah. So what am I going to tell him about those? Mm. So for me what the program was to get men mm-hmm. to come, you know, even to come with their sons yeah. and just involve these boys, you know, talk about what you guys talk about, you mm. know, throwing stones and mm-hmm. whatever mm-hmm. and just uh, boost their esteem because yeah. these are babies who were born with trauma. Mm-hmm. Like they didn't have a tra- they were born already abandoned. Yeah. So life was already hard for them. Mm. So the point of Angel Center is to try and not just get them a home and food and yeah. and education. Mm-hmm. We also have to take care of their mental health. Yeah. We also have to take care of, you know, their emotional health. Mm-hmm. I discovered uh, I started uh, taking my boys for therapy last mm-hmm. week mm-hmm. and there's a lot I discovered that I didn't know. Mm. You know, and they can't talk to me. Yeah. Um because I'm the, you know, I'm a, I'm authority figure, yeah. I'm the mom. Yeah. So it it was really disturbing mm. because it's a different angle that i hadn't kind of seen, seen yeah. yeah so i'm like you know the men come out mm-hmm. and most of the visitors we get are women mm. men i think leave it to mm. ili kazi ya mama mm. it's not true like be involved like be proactive mm. like let's change the narrative of these children because mm-hmm. you know people are like children from children homes are yeah. the ones who turn out to be thieves yeah. Yeah. no mm. i my boy is one, number one in class mm. and he's going to standard two he's been number one since mm. you know he yeah. loves to study he mm. loves you know d- different things yeah. so this is why I, I, I'm, i'm starting the program so we are doing this the second year yeah. last year two dad two men showed up mm-hmm. um which is okay imagine for the it's ba- okay what for the baby daddy program uh-huh. just two guys showed up way way around yeah. way around how long is it uh, yeah. sorry how long is it no it was a, it was like a sports day like okay. we did a sports day Bambox. we got yeah Tunaenda. and just two men mm-hmm. showed up So then we are going to try again maybe yes. this year five men will show up no, we are going to keep more yeah, we, we need people. How, many, how many men do you need we need uh i have 32 boys mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. i need 32 boys uh, 32 men. men we are going to get you 32 Dana. men yeah. when is this program happening um we are still working out i'll mm-hmm. send you all the mm-hmm. issues yeah. all the all the dates mm-hmm. but it should be uh in yeah in december sec- second saturday or something okay. all right yeah. so wanaume wenyewe najua mnatusikiza kwa sababu vibes radio tunajua tunashinda tukiongea na wanaume na pia wanawake Meski Apple Angel mm. Center which is located in Waidaka 
there are 48 children 32 of them need men or like men figures in their mm-hmm. lives for yes. a date mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh-uh. 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 <laughs> just spend your time even you'll come and get them on a Saturday take them for a rugby game take yeah. them for a football game mm. then bring them but of course you can't uh, uh, check, uh, you'll go with one of my staff yes and then yeah you know just show them a different life yeah you know like was yeah. at institution and you know when someone is who went to boarding school mm-hmm. yeah, you I know how boarding school, school is yeah. mm. you know you feel like you're in prison yeah so you know we're just trying to do something different for these kids all right yeah i really love what you're doing and i know there's Thank a lot you. of people who are tuned in right now um who are like wow I want to support. Um, I want to be part of uh, Angel Center. And I'm sure they've had this call for men and they're like, I want to be part of that. Yeah. So how do people get in touch with you? Um, on Facebook, mm-hmm. you can reach us uh, fa- uh, at facebook.com. Uh, Angel, Center. <laughs> Angel Center for Abandoned Children okay. on Facebook. Mm-hmm. On Instagram, we are at Angel Center Kenya. Mm-hmm. Okay. And then our website is www.angelcenter.org. All right. Yes. So we're also going to post that on our pages as Vibes Radio and our hashtag Vibes MVP if you'd like to know more about this. And I have one last question. Yes. What advice would you give mothers now that you're surrounded with all these abandoned children? Which mothers? A single, especially single mothers. Yeah. I'm a single from, mom. Uh, from yeah, a yeah. social media side, because you see platforms like Twitter and Facebook, when you go online, they always bash all these single women. Yeah. There's so much. Which yeah. is crazy. ridiculous. Like, there's yeah. so much that is. Ex- Let me tell you, um, mm. I'm a single mom, I told you, and mm-hmm. we are like an e- epidemic. It's yeah. like we have HIV mm-hmm. in Kenya. Like, we are. Everyone is like, it must be a problem. Like, that's why, you know, that's why you're single. Like, mm. you can't even be angry. You can't even be, yeah, you know. You can't react. Be strong. Mm. Like, be strong. Okay. Um, I'll just tell, I know it's hard. Mm-hmm. Like, it's very hard. Like, I, I have a lot of hardship. Mm. But you have to be strong for your kids. Okay. Remember, there's someone watching. Mm. Yeah. All so right. just be strong, moms. And yeah, don't listen to them. You're a great mom. You're doing well. No one went to university to be a mom. Mm. So do your thing. Okay. Right. okay. Thank you so much, uh, Wamaiva Wangi, who's the founder of Angel Center. Karibu. Remember, you can get in touch with that. We'll post her information. Uh, see how you can get in touch with Angel Center this December. Let's put a smile on the kid's face. And also, if you're looking to adopt, you know where to do it. Yeah, yeah man. Vibes Radio. We rule the nation in this generation.